our oil consumption test to make the dipstick match. Yes. All right, so um, since they topped it up, I'd like to have a look at your dipstick mm -hmm. and uh, see what the top of the range is, because this is there. They filled it up, so now we'll, we'll know. Now, now we know it's full. We know it's full, and uh, tomorrow we'll take take some oil out of it. We'll find the bottom of the range, and mm -hmm. we'll measure how much oil it takes to get to the top, top of the range. range. Yeah, and uh, actually, since since it's just been topped up, I'd like to put my dipstick in it too, just to see how much they're overfilling it. Yes. Sounds like a plan. Okay, let's get the... Okay. This guy's garage like and subscribe so That's second week of the oil consumption test yep it's failed yep. so. how's ken so you just came back from uh my weekly maintenance program you, you, yeah so uh they said they were going to do an oil consumption test yeah, I took it in today. It went in for running boards. The running boards all the chrome was flaking off them since I got it. And I only got it 10 months. And then uh, the door locks again. This My other truck was the yeah. same way. The door locks yeah. are froze up. So it was in there all day today, yeah. having its weekly maintenance. And uh, I did talk to the service manager. I won't say his name, but um, I told him about their f beautiful fix for the oil consumption and yeah. the longer dipstick. Yeah. <laughs> And it's working great, I told him, but it's yeah. still taking oil, yeah. as we know. Yeah. And I told him that we're doing it. We did an oil consumption check. Kind of. And I did go to Halifax on the weekend, and it did use up quite a bit of oil. Probably a good quart of oil to go up and back. Yeah, well, it did, because uh, we, yeah. that, that was... But they told me they topped it off today. Yeah, so they topped it off. They're going to do an oil consumption, but they topped it off. But they told me not to worry because it was within the range. Yeah. <laughs> so we know it was down a quart oil because we just finished yeah. doing our oil consumption test. Yeah. It was down a quart oil from the factory. Yes. Like from when we first did it. From from the because uh, we checked it with the original dipstick and it was down yeah. oil already. Yeah. So we didn't have to take any oil out of it when we started our oil consumption test to make the dipstick match. Yes. All right. So um, since they topped it up, I'd like to have a look at your dipstick and. Uh, see what the top of the range is because this is there they filled it up so now we'll, we'll know now, now we know it's full we know it's full and uh tomorrow we'll take take some oil out of it we'll find the bottom of the range and we'll measure how much oil it takes to get to the top, top of the range, range. Yeah, and uh actually since since it's just been topped up i'd like to put my dipstick in it too just to see how much they're overfilling it yes <laughs> sounds like plan. okay let's get the okay. Alright, I'm gonna get you to hold the camera. Yep. I'll grab the Okay. Let's see what the top of the range is. Topped it up, yeah. Told me not to worry, it was within the range. It was within the range. So, as you can see here, it's filled to the top eye hole. That's the top of the range. Mm -hmm. All right, make sure we get the. So, that's the top of the range. Let's see how much uh, overfill. Overfill. Yeah. Overfill, it overfill it is. Because. Oh, Jesus, I must have a look at this. Now, let's see the difference here. They said they started an oil consumption test yesterday. Mm -hmm. So you can see both sides of the stip, stick are marked yep. for a liter. Yep. I'd like to know what service procedures they're using to keep track of the oil because 
they don't know how much oil it takes between here and there. So there's no, how, no, gauge. How, how, there's how, no way to gauge it. So what's the service procedure now on the oil consumption test if if, if it's still using oil? Uh, probably the top hole, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, it it's very specific in uh, technical service bulletin yeah. 2058. Put 7.9 liters in it and start it up and add and eight liter to mark the stick. That's how they yeah. want to build that technical service bowl. Yeah. There, there has. To, if you're going to do an oil consumption test, there has to be a service procedure. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm a little, a uh, little concerned that there's no markings on the stick. So, and they should have changed the oil if they're doing an oil consumption test. Yeah. All they did was top it off. All they did was top it off. So. Never ask a question you don't already know the answer to. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's put my stick in. See how much overflow it. <sighs> no power last night. That was fun. I know. We made it through. They canceled school and the power came out at 9:05. Winter Wonderland today. Oh, oh. So, you can oh see my, my fingernail. Yeah, yeah, I can see where it's limped. It. Yeah, so It'll come this way. Yeah. yeah, that's way above. Yeah. So they're overfilling it with oil. Oh, well. that, that, if we didn't drive that point home already, they're, yeah. they're overfilling. Yeah. They're overfilling them with oil. So. Well, they were pretty happy that I was within the limits when they told me that it was down, but yeah. not to worry because it was with. Be in the range. In the range. Yeah. So. All right. So there's no markings on the stick. Nope. So if they're doing an oil consumption test on it, I don't know how they're doing it. So. So tomorrow, we're gonna film, do the filming on changing. To, to we'll tomorrow, find the range. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna take drop some oil out of this. We're gonna find the bottom of the range, and we're gonna find out how much oil it takes to get to the top of the range. So, uh, be a good time to hit that subscribe button so you're not going to want to miss this. All right. Garage. Like and subscribe.